it's Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble, and today I'm here to talk to you about time blocking and time management. So a little while ago, um, a few weeks ago, I quit my full-time job, not my full-time job, my part-time job at a real estate office, and I'm trying to make a go of this whole planning and creativity thing um, full-time. So I have gone from working for somebody else to kind of being an entrepreneur in a way, right? So my days have shifted. I no longer leave the house to go to the office. Um, and I have to like make my own schedule and make sure that I follow my own schedule. It's very difficult working for yourself because there's some days that you really just, you could stay in bed all day or you could watch Netflix all day if you wanted. And it takes a little bit of self-discipline and a little bit of work to figure it all out. So as I have gone on the last few weeks, I've discovered that I need to take um, time out each week or each night to plan the day ahead because I have noticed that if I'm not planning enough, I'm doing other things like I'm on my phone too much or like I'm... I'm doing things that don't pertain to the business. So I also have discovered that I'm having a harder time with work-life balance. I work too much, but sometimes I don't feel like I'm productive. And then it's the end of the day and I'm still working and I'm not spending time enough time with my family or my friends or playing with the dog. And I, I need to get back to figuring out a real schedule. So I have been using um, the last week or so or week or two i've been using these daily sheets um and these have really been helping track um what i do and i've been time blocking on these sheets but what i decided it would be like actually just really helpful if i planned out the week on these hourly sheets which are taken from the pages taken from this planner and i decided that it would be best if i just like planned out the entire week in advance. So that's what I'm gonna do with you guys today. First of all, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about time blocking. So time blocking is basically creating blocks of time and having different activities during each of those times. And if you block it out, you have to follow that. So you try to, like if you block out two hours for filming a video, you try to stop at the end of those two hours and go on to your next block of time. Um, there's a couple reasons why I think time blocking is really great. One, it helps prevent procrastination and I'm a huge procrastinator, you guys. I don't know, you've probably heard me talk about this. I'm a really big procrastinator and this has just time blocking these last couple weeks has actually really helped in that respect. Um, another thing is it creates a record of how I spend my time and it really, it's kind of eye opening and it helps me to notice patterns. And like if I, so say I, well, when I was using these sheets, so I had it like broken out and say I was supposed to edit videos from 10 to 12 and then like I spent half an hour during that time on Instagram on my phone I'm marking that down so it's helping like to keep me to keep track of what I'm doing and if I notice like you can notice patterns emerging if you take too much time on one task and not enough time on another task it just helps you figure things out another reason I like time blocking is it helps schedule in time for other things that you might not be getting done things you don't have to get done right like working on special projects or um, building your business you know it's very easy to go with the status quo and continue what you're doing every day just getting the minimum done but you really need to schedule in that time. I've discovered over the last month that if I don't schedule in that time to work on other things, I'm not gonna do it and I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And my goal is to advance and do some more interesting things and, and build the business a little bit. So that's been really helping. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you're doing time blocking is kind of just write down a 
list of categories. So for me, and I'm going to use some mild liners for these. So I'll link these in the description box below. If you don't have mild liners, these are really helpful. Or you can use any highlighters, but I just happen to like these. I think they're really cute. So I'm just going to make a little legend down here just to share with you what my, um, my color coding is because I color code each category. So I'm going to write, just put these in and then we'll talk about it. I know these are kind of similar, but I can tell the difference in person. I don't know if you can. Okay. So I have five main categories. The first one is YouTube. And this is going to include um, filming, editing, making thumbnails, that type of thing. The second is Patreon. Then I have projects then exercise and then home okay so I put out about five to six videos a week. This is a heavy workload, you guys. It's a heavy workload. So that's why I need to schedule this stuff in. So the first thing I do, again, you can do this the night before. So I can sit down on Sunday night. It's actually Friday now before this Monday. But I can sit down on Sunday night and I can write it out for Monday and do the same thing every night. And that's what I had been doing, but what I found is I think it's gonna be easier if I do it weekly. So I'm gonna do it Monday through Saturday, or Monday through Friday, and and just plan out what I'm gonna do. And you know, it'll change every week. It's gonna change as you figure things out. But so every morning at seven o'clock, I wake up. At least that's the plan. It doesn't always happen depending on when I go to bed. But from seven to eight is basically just waking up, getting my coffee because I cannot function without my coffee, brushing my teeth, getting dressed, answering DMs on Instagram, texting people, sending Marco Polos to my friends, that type of thing. So from seven to eight is free time. And I need that because I, like I said, I'm not a morning person, so I need that time in the morning. Okay, so I am gonna build in some time to work on special projects. So every day from eight to 10, I'm gonna work on projects because I can't seem to get it done unless I actually block out time. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna write this in and color code it. Oops, I started writing on Saturday and Sunday and I really do not wanna wake up at seven on Saturday and Sunday. I didn't realize I did that. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> no, thank you. Saturday and Sunday are my rest days. Well, they're supposed to be my rest days, but I do work on Saturdays most of the time and sometimes Sundays. But I really want to try to get away from doing that, so I'm not putting that in there. All right, so we'll put this here. So I'm just going to color code them at the end so that I can let this pen dry a little bit before using the mild liners. But I also wanted to bring in another color because I think I need to bring in something for like social media, like um, 
like Instagram and stuff, because I do need to interact. I'm just going to say social media, even though a lot of this is social media related. Um, what I mean by this is Facebook groups, Instagram, all of that, like interacting because I, as a social media influencer, I need to interact. And what I've been doing is interacting all day. <laughs> and that's why I'm not getting enough accomplished because I'll do something and then I'll take a break, check Instagram, check YouTube, comment and like talk to people and then get back to what I'm doing. But I'm done with that. So if you're used to me commenting all day, it's not going to happen um, until nighttime. So I'm going to build that in. At least that's what I tell myself. So then on, um, let's see. So 10 to 11, I'm going to work on Patreon related things every day. And what I mean by that is like, Patreon posts, answering Patreon messages, planning things for Patreon like live streams and um, just Patreon business in general is going to happen from 10 to 11. And if for some reason it doesn't take up the whole hour, and it will, <laughs> trust me, but if it doesn't, I will, um, I'll like just start working on the next thing. But this actually might not be enough time for Patreon. It depends on what's going on. Um, yeah, sometimes it's like a lot more time than that, but it, it just all depends. So we're going to start with an hour. Now on Monday, we're going to film. I'm going to film. We are not going to film. Um, film 11 to 4. Okay. And then I'm going to film 11 to 4 on Tuesday. What I've been doing is like, I've been filming and editing, filming, and editing, filming, and editing, but I'm going to try to just film on Monday and Tuesday. Um, that'll give me eight hours to film. Actually, more than that. Sorry. Um, wait, 11 to 4. So that's um, 12, 1, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 5. So that's 10 hours. Sorry. Um, so it'll give me 10 hours to film. And I'm going to try to make sure that's enough. So we'll see. I don't know. Because some of the like videos need pre-planning. So it's not like like a video like this where I talk about different things is not going to be the same amount of time as, say, like a mini plan with me, which could take a half an hour. So it just all depends. But I'm going to try to get my filming done on Monday and Tuesday, 11 to 4, and we will see how it goes. Um, 4 o'clock... I'm going to exercise. On Monday, Tuesday, five to six is going to be social media. Interacting. And then after that is dinner and free time. But during this 11 to 4 is going to be lunchtime. So I'll take like a half an hour for lunch. Okay, so that's Monday and Tuesday. We'll see how this goes. It's the first time I've done it this way. I typically will say I'm going to film from 11 to 1 and then edit and upload. I'm going to try to just film and do nothing else. We'll see how that goes. Okay, Wednesday um, is going to be an editing. So Upload, wait, no, edit, edit and upload. I'm just going to say editing. That's going to include uploading. I messed that up. Editing is going to be 11 to 4 on Wednesday. Exercise at 4. Social media 5 to 6. And the social media might change to like seven to eight, depending on what I have going on. But I just want to like build in about an hour for that to try to stay off my phone as much as possible at other times. Okay, so five hours for editing here. Um, that's probably not going to be enough. I'm going to build in some time on Thursday for editing. So I'm going to edit. 
11 to 2. I'm going to try to get all my editing done. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. And then from 2 to 5, I'm going to take photos on Thursdays. Now, if it's not a nice day, if it's cloudy day or a rainy day, I'm going to have to schedule this for, like, say, Friday. I'm going to have to switch it. But for now, we're going to do 2 to 5 take photos. Okay. Moving 5 o'clock to exercise. I mean, exercise to 5 o'clock. And then the rest. Okay. So Friday... It's going to be laundry day. So after my 10 to 11 Patreon, I'm going to put in some laundry. And then during the day, I will be doing that. Um, let's see. Let me think. I'm hoping that Monday through Thursday I can get all my YouTube stuff done. But I'm not sure about that. Okay. Anyway, from 12 to 4... I am going to work on Friday. It's going to be kind of miscellaneous. I'm going to work on affiliates. And other projects. Okay, so that's 12 to 5, 5 o'clock exercise and then free time the rest of the night. So I didn't build social media into these ones. I guess I will just take an hour at night and do that, like seven, eight, nine, whenever I get around to it. Okay. Um, and then also like night is gonna be folding laundry. I'm gonna try to get all, I'm gonna write that up here. So these are gonna be my priorities. All laundry is gonna be done on Fridays. Um, cleaning and chores and stuff are going to be Saturday, Sunday, mowing the lawn, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to write that down because that's more like just personal stuff I need to get done on the weekend, paperwork, that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. All laundry Friday. All photos Thursday. And that includes um, making thumbnails for YouTube. Um, I don't know when I'm going to schedule my Instagram posts. I might not. I might just do it daily during like the social media time or maybe in the morning between 7 and 8 when I wake up. Um, all editing, even though there's some on Thursday. Film film. Okay. So those are going to be my main things that I've got going on on those days. All right. So now I can go ahead and color code. So projects, special projects are going to be orange. I wonder if I should go all the way across or just do it here. I don't know. Let's try all the way across. It does smear it a little bit. Not too bad. Okay. Um, Patreon. Whoops. Oh, actually, I should really bring the orange down, shouldn't I? Now, YouTube is this color, so we've got this going on, and I'm just going to take it all the way down on each block. YouTube takes up a lot of my time. Actually, it's been taking up more than this, so I'm going to have to really hustle to get that stuff done in that amount of time. Um... I'm going to count photos as social media because it's like mainly Instagram. It's also for YouTube thumbnails, but 
I'm gonna do this and then exercise is blue. And home stuff is gonna be laundry. It's really the only home thing I have on here for now. Affiliates and other projects, so that'll be counted as special projects. Okay. So, my top goals for next week. I have to film doodles because I'm out of doodle of the day. I have to film intros where you see my face because I'm out of those. And actually those might happen. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit them into here then. That Those might happen over here on Friday, actually, now that I think of it. Um, and I also need to take some lifestyle photos because I'm out and on my Instagram grid, I typically will have like a color photo, then a white one, color white, and a lot of those are like lifestyle photos, which are like either pictures of me or pictures of Bumble or like pictures of planner supplies, that kind of thing. And I need more of those, so I need to do that. All right, um, I'm gonna write in social media down here on these days after dinner. taking a risk doing this right away, but it worked out okay. All right. So now I'm, I'm gonna decorate a little bit because you guys know I like to decorate. And I'm gonna just take a bit of um, label paper and cover that section up at the bottom with those flowers. I don't really like those flowers and they don't at all go with what I'm trying to accomplish on this. So let's just cover them up with some label paper. Let's see, I'm just gonna do it kind of diagonally, even though that's not ideal. I don't care. So this, these pages are gonna live in my social media planner because that's what I'm gonna be looking at during the week. I mean, I look at my catch-all too, but I don't wanna crowd up my catch-all with this. It's more social media related because it's kind of like work stuff. So that makes sense to me to put it in there. Even though that's a big planner, I'm just gonna like put these in the big planner. And then I might transfer some things to like the to-do lists in that planner. I don't know yet. All right, so let's put some stickers down to make it pretty. Okay, how about we use the Pastel Mega sticker book and use some of these cute um, pastel florals because I think this kind of like coordinates with these colors a little bit. It's not totally off. So um, I think I'm gonna put them in here because I just really needed one priority of each day, not three. So that kind of makes sense to me. So let's do that. Um, I wonder if I need to wipe those lines out and like the, probably, at least these, right? These little dots, I think I need to white out because those aren't making me feel good. And weeks are all gonna change depending on what I have going on that week. Like sometimes at night, I'll, I will have like a live plan with me with my patrons or something. So it's obviously gonna change, but for now, this is what I've got going on. And also if I have any like personal things, I could put them there too, just to remind myself, like if I have a dinner to go to or anything like that. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to really get down like my daily schedule and what I have like in the middle of the day trying to schedule myself out. So we'll see how I do. Like I said, I have been doing this on the daily sheets, but I still don't really have a handle yet on, on like, um, like how much time to schedule. 
since I haven't seen it in like a weekly format. So I think that's gonna be different than seeing it like in a daily format. a weekend banner why can't I get it down straight pretty good. All right. Um, just white out these little guys again. Okay. I know that's weird. Oh, that current... That one does not make me happy. <laughs> Current mood happy. <laughs> Current mood happy. Not when I see that sticker there. It's not doing it for me. <laughs> Let me take that off. Find something else that like matches the flowers, you know what I mean? Because it doesn't really match the flowers. That's why it didn't make me happy. Let's look at those top priority stickers. Why don't I take one of those and put it over here instead of this top three goals? I know it's top priorities and not priority, but it's kind of fun to put there anyway. Let's do it. Um. I guess I'm going to take flowers all the way across the page because I don't think any of these stickers are really going to match those flowers well. And I already have like those other colors in there, so I don't want to like go crazy. You know what I mean? I want to kind of try to keep it pretty s the similar. Okay, so I think the rest I'm just gonna leave alone because like I said, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of decorating for myself in this planner, but I think it's it's cute. And um, I know you guys like to see cute. So <laughs> so there you go. I hope this was help for free, helpful for you and kind of not all over the place. I know it sort of was, but I hope I explained myself well. And that's all for me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out the doodle of the day coming up now. Bye.